Hey everybody, it's Brick Squadron. I'm back again today. And have you ever wondered how you're going to store all of your Armada cards and dice when you have a big battle going on like this? It can be pretty complicated and confusing about where all your tokens and defensive tokens are. I ordered a package from Methodical Geek on Etsy, and it was a really cool seller, really cool shop. I got a bunch of these. They're like um, ship holders for the ship cards. So they hold all of your um, upgrade cards, your damage cards, your defensive tokens have nice little slots. You can fit up to four defensive tokens there. You can have up to four command tokens there. It's got a speed dial, it's got a command dial spot, and it has a spot for the actual ship card as well. And then if you really want to be secretive and have nobody else knowing what your cards are. You can put your upgrade cards in these cool little slots that go around the stand holder. And yeah, they slide, so you're gonna wanna be careful about that. But it, it saves a lot more space than spreading out all of your upgrade cards and your tokens and trying to keep track of which belongs to which ship. I've already used it in a couple of battles and it's helped me keep track of a lot more stuff and helped me remember stuff too along with like what tokens go with what ship. And it's just, they're just really easy to put in, slide out. Just really cool, they're 3D printed, just normal plastic. And I got the black version to go with my Imperial ships. Um, so yeah, definitely check these out. Um, they come in different colors. Again, they're just 3D printed. They're pretty, pretty sturdy, but don't go dropping them. They might break, you never know. I also got a container storage box. So when I'm rolling dice and when I'm storing all of my tokens and obstacles and just upgrade cards, whatever, this is a really cool storage box for your Armada stuff. Um, and it has these slidable dividers that you can take in and take out to basically divide up in sections. And if you're like me, when you're rolling your dice for attacking, your your dice, they're going all over the place on the table. So if you roll them in this box, they're not really going to go anywhere. It's a, it's a really cool little storage area. Um, it's very easy to open. It's got the these little slider things on the plastic that just slide in there and lock it in. And there, you can, even if you shake it upside down, the top won't come off. It's a really cool storage box. Again, I got this in black. And he has a lot of different options. If you want specific storage boxes for upgrade cards, they're on there. If you want storage boxes for ships, he does a lot of really cool 3D printed Armada storage stuff. And Etsy in general is just a good online shop to look at for your Armada storage stuff. Um, and I really liked it. I would give all of this stuff a five out of five. Um, very, it's holding up very well. And I think my favorite thing about this is how like you can customize it. You can make them different colors. You can sort of like slide these dividers in if you want a bigger storage area in your box or a smaller one. It's just a really cool, really cool box. And it does have his logo right there on the back side of it as well. So yeah, um, my next video is going to be about painting your Armada ships. And if you want to kind of find out how I did paints like the MC-80 right there, and how I painted the base of the Quasar Fire, make sure to check that out. I'll have it out in a couple of days. This has been Brick Squadron. Thank you guys for watching. And if you subscribe, it helps out a lot. It's free. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.